I also like to check the condenser breaker just to make sure that that is not tripped. And it's gonna be this top one and it's not tripped. All right, to the roof. We already replaced the filter and that is not helping to get it cool, but it will help once we get the upstairs unit running. Here's the unit up on the roof, fans running. Compressor is not, I can hear the compressor trying to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the power to the condenser. And I'm just gonna follow this plug because I doubt, you hear that? The compressor's trying to start. Yep. All right, now let's see what's going on. And I'm going to test the capacitor. Even though the shut off turned the fan off, I wanna make sure there's no hidden voltage anywhere. Now for our run capacitor, the one with three spades is gonna be common. Sorry, the one with four is gonna be your common wires. And the one with three is gonna be your Herm compressor. And the brown is gonna be fan, that usually has two. I'm gonna remove the Herm wire. And if you don't know this or forget, for some reason, you forget how to hook it up. There's this neat little thing on the back of the plate right here. And this is a wiring diagram. You should be referring to it whenever you have a questionable concern about where a wire goes. And that goes with everything when it comes to electrical appliances. So we've got our wires off our cap. You can discharge it if you want. Uh, most of these auto discharge, but just if it were to hold the charge. If you're in apartment maintenance and you need a meter that can do MFD, because this is how you check capacitors. If you're just blindly replacing them, then just get off my lawn. But this is a 30 by five UF, so we're looking for 30 microfarads. And we're going to probe on each one of these holes. That one's on Herm. And you got to hold it there tight. And let's see what we get. We've got 4.5. And that is way out of spec. You can check the fan one too. And let's just check the fan one for the hell of it. Common to the fan terminal. The fan's got 1.7 MFD. 1.7 for the fan. So it's a, it's a bad capacitor, easy peasy. Here's our replacement run capacitor. Now we wanna make sure that this is indeed good before we just throw it in there. And I say that because it was not in a box. So I'm just gonna put my test leads across Herm and Common. And we've got, we're within 5% of 30. So that's good. And then I'll just go ahead and check the fan as well. Remove the two quarter inch screws right here. We don't want to arc against this. This is metal on metal, this low voltage that can cause shorts. So use caution. I know I'm kind of playing with fire right there. Whenever you're putting on a new capacitor, you got to strap it. 
Don't let it sit there dangling. Don't do that, please. I see so many techs do that and it drives me crazy. If the capacitor doesn't fit, get you some plumber strap. It's cheap for 100 feet. Strap the damn capacitors. And we can see on our new capacitor, the labels, C, common. It's gonna be the one with the four spades, firm with three, and fan with the single one. Now, not every capacitor is gonna be like that, but that's how this one is. So we're gonna hook our herm up. And that goes right to the compressor. The common is just a common side of the contactor. And it needs a additional power to make everything work and hook up the fan and then this is going to be our run wire which is goes to the common on the capacitor now don't confuse that with the compressor common which is L1 it gets confusing that's why I always refer to the diagram if you have any wiring questions. This bad boy is ready to fire up. And we've got 4.1 amps total. Three point nine on the compressor. Now I don't see any signs of refrigerant. This is cold, this line. I'm gonna go downstairs and check my temperature drop. I am not gonna gauge up for no reason at all, even though I have um, probes with low loss fittings. I just don't, I, I don't gauge up just for the fun of it. Also, don't forget to put the panel back on. It's another pet peeve of mine that a lot of my coworkers will do whenever they work on an AC. Very easy fix. Um, yeah, use your meter to check capacitors. Just don't blindly replace them unless they're bulged up. If, um, if there's a bulge in the capacitor, it'll actually read um, zero MFD when you test it with the meter. And then you just know for sure that it's, it's bad. It'll kind of look like a Ugh, look like a soda can that was in the freezer anyways thanks for watching i'm going to keep trying to make more of these um, hvac repairs because i know a lot of apartment maintenance techs struggle with them and maybe this can help out some young apprentices or any apprentices in the hvac field anyways thanks for watching my name's dave see you on the next one